What is up, everybody? Jayco here today. And today, before I get into this video, I'm gonna make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel because we're getting closer and closer to 50K subscribers, which is awesome, and I can't thank you guys enough. So, I wanna continue with the video that I had last time about this girl that I was associating with and that I wanted to tell her about what I did because I cared about her and I wanna pursue something with her. So, what did I do? I told her, you know, I was gonna wait till I saw her to tell her, but I kept building it up and she got, you know, uh, anxious and wanted to know about it. So I told her, and at first it didn't go so well because, you know, she was like, are you, know, are you a stripper? Are you an escort? And I'm like, no, I just, you know, work on camera. I pretty much show off my body. I don't see people, I don't hear people, and then I have multiple fan sites where I make videos for, you know, usually daily, and that's what I do. Um, now, if I'm in a relationship, I will no longer be pursuing the straight page, like doing videos with a bunch of girls because I'm not that type of guy. If I'm exclusive and dating somebody, I don't look to do things with other people. It's very, very disrespectful, and I'm a very faithful individual. So when I go into a relationship, it's for the long haul. It's not just because I want to be in a relationship. I make sure that it's the right person before I do it. So to furthermore the conversation, you know, it took a little while for her to process it, but she seems to be okay with it. Now, it's not like she's saying, hey, it's okay, do this the rest of your life. I told her that this is not my go-to move. This is not the, fin the final for me. This is something that may last another four or five years, and then I'll try and pursue you know, I'm, I am pursuing other things. They're just not enough to, they're just not enough to pay my bills right now. So I can't just say, hey, I'm gonna quit, you know, camming and my fan sites and just move on. I can't, I have no way to survive. I just, I just want to be possible. I just don't make enough. So to the conversation, I'm actually, it's funny, I'm actually on my way to pick her up. I'm not gonna say where. And she's gonna spend as much time with me as I want until I decide differently. And I really want her to stay for a long time. And I'm gonna continue working and making my videos and producing them, but I'm gonna be with her. And that's the only reason why I didn't wanna be with her for more than like a week at a time is because I was isolating myself from my work. And that's not the best idea because obviously I still have to make and generate money. So, you know, I really, really care about this girl, even though I've only known her for about 40 days or so. Um, I've been on over 100 dates in the last 9, 10 months. Uh, I spend a lot of money on dates and dinners and stuff like that. And as a whole package, like the most of everybody I met, she's the entire package. Sorry, guys. This this light like I looked so much better before now it just looks weird because the sun's like right on my side so she brings a lot to the table now not everything but again nobody's perfect so the good news is that she's willing to meet me halfway on work on things um, to make our lives better we plan on going to college together um, and she might be moving Right now, she doesn't live near me, but she spends a lot of time near me. She might be moving in the end of summer. And that might be with me. That might be in her own place. So we'll we'll see where the road takes us. But it's the, the good news is that for the last four weeks or so, four weeks or so since I've met her, I haven't contemplated suicide once. And I didn't... I didn't have any negative thoughts. Even throughout my grandmother's funeral and how sad it was, I was just happy knowing that I have somebody who cares about me and who likes me, who's genuine, who's who's there for me. So that's, that's a really good feeling. And it's crazy because we haven't seen each other in a week and a half, but it feels like we haven't seen each other in multiple months. So you know, some of you guys might be like, oh, you're in that Goo Goo Gaga phase. And it's not like that. It's like, I am not somebody to rush into things anymore I'm not you know somebody to say something that I don't mean so everything that I say to her is 100% true and everything I'm telling you about her is 100% true and I'm just happy I'm, I'm honestly and genuine ha genuinely happy and I couldn't ask for it any other way so I'm 
glad you guys enjoyed this video. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I will not ask her to do work with me. I don't find that appropriate for women. Uh, I mean, everybody's entitled to do whatever they want, but I don't want the person I'm with to do that. And you guys can say that makes me a hypocrite. But at the same time, not everybody has to do what I do and not everybody's cut out to do what I do. It's not an easy job. Especially being with somebody who does my job is not easy as well. So it's funny because she got a hold of all my YouTube videos and found all my videos and stuff like that. But, you know, I let her ask her questions and I gave her honest answers and that's all I can do, you know. So, I'm Jake. Hope you guys all have a blessed day. Uh, I'll be picking her up in like five, uh, like ten minutes. So, take care guys. God bless.